Dun, dun, ba, dun, 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 dun. Guinos Diaz, Friday morning, free for Friday. Good morning, Double R Radio. Uh, we're not live yet. We're going to go live, but we're not live yet. Um, <clears throat> man, I'm feeling a little congested this morning. I don't know what the hell my problem is, man. Hey, man, maybe I need a couple of shots or something. I don't know. I need something here. Good morning, Rebecca Trevino. Buenos, be Buenos dias, Rebecca. Eh? La Rebecca. Good morning, Gloria Trevino. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We're getting re ready to go live here on my morning show. Just in a minute, we're going to go live. Hang on. We're going to go live. Got lots to talk about. Got a whole lot to talk about. Um, doom, 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 but it's Primo! Roger Reeves, good morning, Primo. How you doing, Primo? Anyways, just, uh, um, down. This is off, man. Man, I don't have to be up early in the morning, but I do this for you guys, you know. I, hey, 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 man, I gotta take one for the team. Orale, here we go. Orale. There we go, Quad City DJs. Come on, right to train, all that other good stuff. Good morning, Double R Radio, Tejano, and much more. Friday morning, freeform Friday it is. I'm wearing my little Santa hat. Look at that, so cute. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I'm so cute. Anyways, it kind of reminds me of an Easter joke. Do you know why, what? Why am I telling an Easter joke during Christmas time? Okay, I, I won't tell the Easter joke. I was going to tell you an Easter joke. Obviously, you don't appreciate an Easter joke so close. To Christmas. That's okay. Good morning, Double R Radio. Streaming live. This is San Antonio, Texas, 8, 12 in the morning. December the 22nd, 2017. Nope, I haven't done any Christmas shopping yet. I'm going to do it. I'll probably do it tomorrow afternoon. I'll do some Christmas shopping. I'll knock it out tomorrow. I will do it. Good morning, Jada. Good morning, Gloria Trevino. Rebecca Trevino. Good morning. Good morning. Merry Christmas, Rebecca. Merry Christmas. No doubt about it. Anyways, uh, before I start talking to you a little bit, I need to uh, vent a little bit. You know, I'm a little pissed off right now, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why I'm really, really pissed off. Good morning, Jada. I got it to Cynthia Gonzalez. I mean, it's Houston, Texas. Buenos dias. Now, let me tell you why. Yesterday, yesterday, I went to Bill Miller Barbecue. Out there, I was out there on uh, Days of Olive Road, I-10, out there somewhere. And, well, anyways, I went out there to get my chicken strips, because that's all I get at the Bill Miller chicken strips. So, I got the three-piece chicken strip, order of fries, large tea. And a slice of apple pie. But while I was going through the little Lino area where you're getting your food and stuff, uh, they had to sign. Because Bill Miller Barbecue, they sell tamales. Now, they're selling tamales. A dozen tamales, I think it is, for eight fifty, Something like that. Well, anyways, I'm going through the line and there's two, three people in back of me. Now, there's two, three people in back of me. And what happens here is that they got a sign right there where you're going to get your food. It says... Add a tamale for one dollar, and I thought to myself, a dollar for one tamale, and I thought to myself, that's pretty freaking expensive. What the hell is Bill Miller's problem? One dollar for one tamale? I don't know. Maybe I'm not with it or something. Doesn't that seem expensive to you? One dollar for one tamale? I thought it was too expensive. I could have got a tamale. I could have said, add a tamale. What the hell? It's Christmas time. But a dollar for one tamale? I don't think so. Good morning, child. I got it to Minnie Flores. Good morning, Minnie. Uh, Merry Christmas to you as well. Cynthia Gonzalez. Guadalupe. Borja. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. So, do you think I'm wrong in this? Michelle Guerrero. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. A dollar for one tamale. I know you're probably going, Robert, why are you crying over one dollar? It's not the dollar. It's the principle of it all. It just seemed to me, maybe I could understand 50 cents and a tamale for 50 cents. Now you're talking. Even 75 cents. I'm okay with that. But one dollar for one tamale and, and two guys in back of me said, add a tamale, please. And the guy behind him said, Add a tamale, please. And I almost, almost added a tamale. And I said, no, 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 no. I'm going to keep my dollar in my pocket. I'm not going to fall into Bill Miller's little scheme of trying to get a dollar for me for one tamale. Uh, uh. <laughs> I ain't going to do it, man. One dollar for one tamale? I don't think so. Good morning, John. I got to send me a Cervantes Bustos. Good morning, Terry and Fufer. Good morning, good morning. Xavier Olivares, X Man in the Casa. Good morning, brother. Anyway, so I'm not paying $1 for one tamale. I ain't going to do it. Good morning, Chad. I got to Doris. The Fuente Sanchez to me. Good morning, Angel Anna. Good morning, good morning. Corpus Christi, Texas in the house. DJ Edward Castillo in La Casa. What's going on, Mr. Edward Castillo? Now, that being said, let it be known, I'm not paying $1 for one tamale. Now, check this out. 
check this out. Nowadays, everybody's making different kinds of tamales. Everybody is. I'm going to give you some of uh, some of, uh, of of the tamales that people are making out there, trying to make them back. Now, people are selling tamale de chile rojo. Eh? Okay. Also, uh, tamales de azúcar, sweet tamales. Also, tamales de pollo. Okay. Tamales de frijoles. I'm gonna, I, what happened to traditional tamales, pork tamales, you know? Also, tamal de, cachua, de, de cacahuates. Who in the hell makes tamales of peanuts? Come on, man, I already got a couple. Let me see here. Um, tamales de strawberry. Strawberry tamales, are you serious? Uh, tamales de limon. Lime tamales? <laughs> Lime tamales, are you serious? Uh, <laughs> and then vegetable tamales. I'm sorry, man. I'm a traditional kind of a guy. I really am. That's like when I picked up the girl the other night. I'm a traditional kind of guy. She goes, are you going to take me to a fancy hotel, Robert? I said, no, I'm old school. I'm traditional. Get your ass in the backseat of my car. I'm traditional. I'm old school. Que hotel, que la fregada. Get your ass in the backseat of my car. <laughs> right. What a cheapskate, right? Right? You mean you're not gonna take me to a fancy hotel? No! Get your ass in the backseat of my car! I'm traditional! I'm old school! <laughs> right? Right? Uh, what a cheapskate. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep it going. Let's see here what's going on. A school bus driver was charged with DWI in a road rage incident while he had kids in a school bus. A school bus driver was, dr was driving drunk with about 20 minutes on, with about 20 students on board Wednesday when he was involved in a road rage accident. Anyway, somebody crossed the line there and he got pissed off. He stopped the bus. He, he climbed out of the bus while students were on the bus and he started cussing out. The other driver, they were going to throw some chingazos. A school bus <laughs> driver with kids on the bus. <laughs> the kids were rooting them on. By the way, the bus driver's name was Rocky. And all the kids were going, Rocky, Rocky. <laughs> right? Rocky lives. <laughs> Anyways, good morning, shout out, good to Teresa, Julie Perez, buenos dias, buenos dias. Anyways, it's there, um, it is Friday morning, and, uh, well, it's the, we are, this is the last morning show, uh, so before Christmas, so look, I will not be on the air tomorrow, Sunday is Christmas Eve, so I will not be on the air, but don't forget that Double R Radio is always, and I mean always, 24 7 24 7 we is, there we go, good morning, shout out, good morning, Gloria Maldonado, good morning, good morning, good morning, that's right, x man. an SUV always comes into play, it really, really does, anyways, I'm going to share a newer story with you guys, and this is true, you know, yesterday I was having a pretty good day, you know, I was having a pretty good day doing my Uber stuff, and let me tell you what happened to me yesterday, man, and I'm not making this up, this is all true, yesterday, I took a man, actually I took a, a young woman from the medical center here in San Antonio all the way to La Cantera. We all know where La Cantera is if you live here, right? I took him to La Cantera. Good enough. Now, I, I get an alert to go pick up another man. This man is at La Cantera. And mind you, the traffic, that bit of con madre, man. There's a lot of traffic out there, man. A lot going on. It's a 5 o'clock hour. Good morning, shout out to Abel Martinez, Buenos Dias, Rosemary Flores, uh, Robtown, Texas, in the Casa. Good morning. So anyways, right? So I get an alert. I pick up this man. This is all true. Check this out. I pick up this dude, right? And he gets in the back seat. And he goes, Oye, carnal. And this is true. This is the way he told me. Oye, carnal. You know, all I want to do is go across the highway to pick up a pack of cigarettes and bring me right back. And I looked at him. Are you freaking stupid? Look at all this traffic, man. It's going to take us 30 minutes to get out of here just to get to the Bolero over there. You're going to get your pack of cigarettes, and I'm going to bring you right back, and it's going to take another 30 minutes to get you back. Plus, I need my pack of cigarettes, dude. And I go, look here, dude. Look here, man. Look here. I'm going to take you to that Bolero, but from there, you're going to have to catch another Uber. I'm not going to mess with you. You get somebody else to do that. But I already got to get out of here anyway. That's the only reason I'm going to take you. But I'm not going to take you across the highway just to pick up a pack of cigarettes. I could care less. Now, you can tell me, well, Robert, what happens if it's a girl with big boobs, big smile, big butt? Would you have done it then? Of course I would have. Papa didn't raise no fool. <laughs> of course. But she wasn't a girl. And he didn't, and he didn't have big 
big boobs and a big smile and a big bad. It was a guy. You know, who could care less about that? So anyway, so, you know, exceptions will be made. Hey, man, it is what it is. Anyways, it is Friday morning, Windows DS. Let's do a nice little Christmas song. Let's do something by Blake Shelton featuring Michael Buble, Home for Christmas. Good morning, Friday morning, Double R Radio. Not really, man, no lie. I'm not even sure when the radio's going so I can talk. I can start sarcastic and everything, but I don't do that. But anyway, really, how would you feel if you're out there at the mall and there's chingles of cars all over the place? You're picking up somebody and they tell you, um, just take me across the highway to the Valero. I'm going to get a pack of cigarettes and you can bring me right back. <laughs> I felt like cussing them out. <laughs> really, man, I felt like cussing them out. I needed some new cuss words, so I Googled it. Uh, Google, I need some new cuss words. And they gave me a whole lot of cuss words, but I couldn't cuss them out because he was a passenger for Uber. So I kind of left him alone. And after 10 minutes of waiting in line, trying to get out of the, of, of the mall, no lie. After 10 minutes, he goes, go ahead and cancel it. I don't think I want the pack of cigarettes after all. And he got off. Voila! Life goes on. There you go. <laughs> Good morning. Shout out going to Angie Acevedo. When you us? Rosemary Flores. Merry Christmas, Rosemary. Merry Christmas. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me. RobertReavisRadio.com. Click on the blue button that says mobile phones. Click here. Click on that one, and you can be joining me live on my morning show. Good morning.